night with Lisa. So I hope you guys are ready for a fun night. We have a great project planned. Actually, we're doing 10 great projects. We're gonna make 10 of these. So we're gonna do 10 cards in 20 or 30 minutes. Um, depends on how much talking I do and stuff. But <laughs> it's a pretty easy card, so I think I maybe could do it in 20 minutes, but I know you guys don't want me to rush, so <laughs> I'll take my time. Hopefully this video will work tonight. I've turned everything off. So everything is off. So hopefully it is not making any staticky noise. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. Because if you can't, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to probably have to just go back to Facebook, I guess. I don't know. Because I don't know what else to do about it. But um, let me see if I can get my computer going and I can find you guys. Here we go. See if anybody's on here. Let's see. Hey, Lynn. Yep, you're the first one watching. Can't believe it. Hey, Julie. Watching from Ohio. Hey, Starla. How are you guys doing? Hey, Audrey. Hey, Stacy. Starla, it's 4 p.m. Oh, that's right. You're over in or Oregon, I think. Oregon, right? Uh, wish I could take a nap. <laughs> I needed one today. <laughs> I was so tired today and I had like no energy whatsoever to do anything and um, I was trying to come up with a card for today because I had nothing planned and I just sat there sat there sat there and I was so tired and I'm like I just can't even concentrate and it got to be like three o'clock and I still hadn't come up with anything and I said well I'm just gonna have to go watch a movie or something hey Talara hey Aiden Hey, Sharon. Hey, Stephanie. And uh, I just sat and watched a Hallmark movie. And then I got up about 4.30, went back in the stamp room, and came up with this. So it was pretty easy. So I said, you know what? Maybe I'll just do 10 of them. And that'll make for an interesting date night. So we're going to do 10 cards. I hope you like this one. Um, is anybody hearing static or anything? Hopefully um, you can hear me good tonight with no static. I think the issue is the um, Bluetooth and the um, do not disturb thing. So I've got those turned off today. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. So nobody's hearing anything staticky. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. I prayed about it before I started this video. I'm like, Lord, please just let me have a good video tonight because I just, I, I get so upset when I rewatch it and um, it's all staticky. So um, hopefully this will stay like this. And I think I need to scoot over a little bit because it's kind of crooked. I don't know why it is crooked though. Let me see. Talari, you had a um, rotisserie. Oh, you're waiting for a rotisserie chicken at Sam's. I just got mine yesterday. Hey everybody, hey Minda from Hawaii. It was so gorgeous today. It was like 70 degrees and sunny, but I was stuck in the house because I, I had to come up with a project. <laughs> it was stressing me out. And then I've got this big thing coming up this weekend and um, I have to do three projects for that. And then I've got another thing the week after that, I've got five projects to come up with. So I'm a little stressed about all that stuff. Plus work is just crazy. So I think that's the problem. You know, I'm just like stressed and I can't just relax. So it's hard for me to create when I'm not relaxed. Oh my gosh. Debbie says 87 in California. Whew. All right. That's right. Starla Tillamook ice cream. That's right. I haven't had any Tillamook lately because I've been trying to be on a diet, but I'm telling you what I crave it every day. Oh, I've got some winners. So, um, this one is the one I did a few weeks ago. I'm really behind on everything. Um, Deb Fitzgerald, you won this one. This one is the third time I've tried to give this one away. The first two people did not respond. So hopefully Darlene McDowell, you will, um, email me about this one. My email is stampgirl2 at cox.net, the number two. Um, Ruby Levon, you won this gorgeous card. So send me your address and Nicole Blowers, you won this one. So lots of cards tonight. Um, all the rest have been claimed, I think. So, um, I mean, I've got like four or five more sitting here that I haven't given away yet, but all the ones that I have called already, except for that one, um, were claimed. So we're doing good on that. 
Tonight's card is featuring the prized peony, which is one of my favorite sets. Um, probably a good second or third to that um, camellia one that we have right now. I love that one. I started to do a card with that again, and I said, you know what? People are probably sick of that <laughs> set. Because <laughs> you can't really get it unless you order $300. So I said, I'll just use something that I love. That's not $300. I think this one's only like $20 some dollars. So this is a good one. If you don't have this one, this is a great stamp set. We're also using the Simply Marvelous paper, which I have used so much of. I, the pack that I was using is almost gone. So this is a almost new pack. The only thing that's missing is the gray. So you get all these different colors. So we've got the pink here, and then we've got the yellow, which is what I'm using tonight. And then we've got a greenish pool party-ish kind of color I think that's the one that's pool. no no that's just the green one I think let me see Oops, that's the wrong one yeah I think that's the pool party and um, coastal cabana one and then we've got the purple Highland Heather and let's see what else is in here we already did the pink and there's um there's supposed to be a green one but I think that was the other one yeah, I must have used all the green one. And then this one is the Balmy Blue and Misty Moonlight. So then on the other side, you've got all the shaving cream looking ones in all different colors. So we're using yellow tonight, which, let me see what color that is. So Saffron and Bumblebee. So I cut the paper in So Saffron. So we're using, let me show you all the stuff we're using. And, oh, don't forget, it's celebration in case you want some free stuff. Um, there's only a couple weeks left, so uh, don't forget to order while you can. And everything is while supplies last. Here's the marvelous paper. I love it, love it, love it. That's all the colors. So you get six colors, eight sheets of each one. The front is the really pretty marble-looking one. The back is the shaving cream kind of looking one. That's what the back looks like. So they're both really pretty. One is just light, one's dark. And that's free with a $50 order, along with most everything else in here, like the paper, um, the other papers, the stamp sets. And then if you want that Calming Camellia, you gotta order $300 to get the host set, because it's a host set. But you get a ton of other stuff free, so it's a really good deal. All right, so I sent out, I spent the, most of the morning doing all of my gifts for orders. So if you've ordered in the last couple weeks, your um, stuff, your gifts went out today. So the mailbox was full with um, gifts for everybody. So sorry, I'm late on that too. <laughs> it's been just a rough couple weeks. <laughs> All right, so here's everything you need. We're going to start with the Simply Marvelous paper. And I left it kind of whole. I cut it at um, just five and a quarter inches. It's six by six to start. I just cut off three quarters of an inch at the bottom. So it's still six inches across, but only five and a quarter tall because that's what I need for the paper. So it's gonna be that tall. And um, it's double the size. So I'm gonna cut it at three when I finish. I wanted to do two at a time because it makes it quicker. So you need five of those and then we're gonna cut them in half. Then we've got our back piece. You need 10 of these, which are five and a half by eight and a half, so saffron. 10 of these, which are five and a quarter by four, Coastal Cabana. And then these got all mixed up. Let me unmix them up. So you need 10 of these little teeny pieces that are two and a half by one half. And then this one right here is actually the bottom. Let me show you. So this piece, that was the whole piece to start with, the six by six. When I cut this piece off at the bottom, I think that's backwards, maybe. I don't know how it goes, but Anyway, when I cut that piece off, I just cut two of these. Um, I cut them in half. It's like two and a half inches. So I cut a little bit off of each one. So you need 10 of those. So that's 10 at two and a half by three quarters. So this is just the leftover from this piece right here. So you really only need five of these and you'll get both of these from that the five sheets. So that's what you need. And then I'll put the card here. Oops. It's a little bit too high. Can you see it all? Let me read some comments before I get started. Hold on. Woo, got a lot of comments on here. Um, okay, everybody says it sounds good. Good, good, good. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Um, Volcano, California. I've never heard of Volcano, California. Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona. Michelle, you love Tillamook. I know. Tillamook is the best ice cream ever. Um, I'm craving it so bad right now. Um, Cindy says, I was just watching one of your videos with this notification. Oh, notifications. Okay, so I've had a bunch of people say that they are not getting notifications. And I did some research because these people all said that they have clicked on the bell to get notified of all the videos. So I went on um, YouTube and looked and there was a lot, there were a lot of people that were talking about it. So evidently YouTube did some kind of an update and it like, for some reason didn't, I don't know if it deactivated people's notifications or it changed them or something. But um, a lot of people were talking about it and said that, the, you know, a lot of their viewers were having the same issue. So if you are not getting notifications, go back and double check that the bell is clicked to get all notifications. And if it is and you're not getting them, then unsubscribe and resubscribe again so that it'll like activate it again. Um, that's the only thing I can think of, but that's what uh, other people on YouTube have said is going on. So. That's the only thing I can think of why you wouldn't be getting them. All right, everybody says they can hear me good. Yay. All right, Judy, I made sure my, I charged my phone for date night with Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we are ready to go. Is everybody ready? Do you like this card? Nobody's really saying anything. <laughs> can you see all the sparkle on it? I sprayed it with shimmer spray. And somebody asked about the bottle. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, I thought I forgot it. So I got this bottle at Target. It was just in the travel section. Um, we sell the little spritzers, but for some reason, this stuff seems to get clogged in there. Um, plus, it doesn't hold very much. So I like the bigger bottles. But they also have these almost exact same bottles at the Dollar Tree, and you can get two for a dollar. Well, now it's a dollar and a quarter tree, so... Um, yeah, that's where I got it. And the, what I have in here is Shimmer Paint, which we used to sell at Stampin' Up, but they discontinued it. So the only place I have found it now is Amazon. And I have the link below my video in the description box. So that's for the Frost White one. I can't find, this is the Champagne one, um, which is a little bit of gold, but they come out almost exactly the same. So, and then I just mix it with 70% alcohol. So it's mostly alcohol, like up to about here. And then I put just a, few drops maybe like four or five drops of the shimmer paint um so that's how you make it and then i put a bb in there just that was already in the shimmer paint it comes with one so when i finished one i just dumped it in there and that helps shake it up but it gives you this really pretty shimmer on um your cards and you can use wink stella too i love stella but i kind of i really miss this shimmer spray because i used to put this on everything all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I tried to think of some interesting stories before I um, um, did the video, but <laughs> I've had a pretty boring life the last few days, so I couldn't think of anything to talk about. So you guys are gonna have to um, just talk amongst yourselves for a while. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the words first. And see what's pretty is there's already like this pattern on there, so you don't even have to really do anything for the words. So I picked this one, love and thanks to a dear friend. This is in the peony set. And some people call it peony. Some people call it peony. I don't know exactly how you say it, but it's a really pretty flower. I used to have them all over my backyard at my old house. I miss my old house sometimes because I had such a gorgeous yard and a pool, but now I have a gorgeous yard now too, because I live on the water. And I'm telling you what, it's so pretty out there. Today was just so gorgeous. I wanted to go sit out there so bad, but I just had too much to do. And I have this schedule to do for work. It's due Monday. And uh, we're shorthanded because I had hired somebody. We were short a full-time person and a um, part-time person. So we hired a full-time person. Everything was great. And then all of a sudden, the last minute it kind of fell through. So now I have to start all over interviewing people again for that position. So again, for March, we're still shorthanded. And I'm like trying to do the schedule and there's just not enough people to go around. So that's the problem now. 
All right, so the words are done. Now we're gonna do this one. So these are gonna all be the same. So I'm just gonna kind of stamp them all together. So we're kind of doing like a big giant one sheet wonder. So we're gonna start, oh, I forgot about Very Versailles. Of course, we can't have a card, one sheet wonder kind of card without Very Versailles. And this is um, gray granite. So we're just gonna start with this and I'm gonna stamp one like, uh, let's do it over to the side. So we'll do one here and then do second generation there. Do another one up here and a little bit right there. So we'll just do that on each one. Try and get this ink pad out of the way a little bit. All right, so one kind of over here. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on each one, pretty much. And then another one over here and a little bit there. And we're just gonna keep on trucking. Let's see, here. So is everybody having a great weekend so far? Mine is pretty good. I haven't really done much, but sit in the stamp room all day trying to come up with the cord. <laughs> I don't know why when I'm like under pressure, I can't think of anything. It's funny because some days I can sit and come up with like five cards in a few hours and then other days I sit there and I just stare at the wall and then I go through my phone, I go through Pinterest, I look on YouTube and like try to find somebody who has a good idea and see what I can change with it and um Oops, probably should have done that a little bit different. Okay, so now we've got all those done. All right, so we're gonna just leave that gray out for a minute because we're gonna go back to that in just a second. All right, so now we've got all five of these the same, and now we're gonna go to the flower, which is Coastal Cabana. We're doing this in Coastal Cabana. I probably should have re-inked it because it's a little bit dry. And then we're just gonna stamp this all over and hopefully this is not shaking the camera probably is let me move it down here all right we're gonna do maybe like five or six of these on each one and go on to the next one and i'll stop and read comments in just a sec we'll take a little break and most of the time i like to do these in pairs but sometimes you know you just can't because you run out of room. So this is a really quick way to do some cards. And I was trying to think of, you know, somehow I have like four packs of this paper and I was trying to think of a way to use it up because we only have two weeks left and uh, I wanted to use it for some cards. And this thing I'm going to next weekend, we're having like 32 people coming. So that's a lot of paper and I have to do these projects for that but I'm very excited because I haven't done a big thing like that in a long time because of COVID but thankfully COVID is pretty much gone around here we are so slow at work that's another reason that they almost didn't want to let me hire another full-time person after that one fell through they're like well, you know, we're cutting kind of cutting back and doing a hiring freeze right now. And I'm like, but we already hired the person. <laughs> I said, it just fell through. We just need to replace it. Um, I said, there's no way that we have enough people right now. So, oh, I got to do the inside too. So they, they finally agreed. And I'm like, I don't know where you think you're going to get people to work by themselves. So I, I actually have to work by myself part of the day, but kind of have to split the schedule and the whoever's in the middle of the day has to work by themselves for a little while and I know as soon as they do that what's gonna happen is we're gonna start getting busy again because the problem is we were so crazy busy with COVID for like two months and then all of a sudden just one day a few weeks ago it just totally died in like one day and then it went back to being dead and um the problem is most of our regular patients who come for primary care and stuff, they um, think we're still busy. So they keep calling and they're like, yeah, how long's the wait? <laughs> and I'm like, well, we really don't have a wait right now. It's pretty um, slow. 
and they're shocked because they think, you know, they just keep assuming that we're slammed, but we're not. So hopefully, oops, I just messed up that one. We'll pick back up and then things will get back to normal. But we're seeing about half as many as we were a couple months ago. So it's kind of slow. All right, so I think we, oh no, we're not done with that. So what I'm gonna do now is get my little sponge, blender brush, and we're gonna go over these flowers a little bit with some Coastal Cabana. So let me show you, this was my trial one. So <laughs> when I started, I did this, this part, and then um, I said, well, I wanna put this little flower in there somewhere. So I first started with, um, what is that? Flirty Flamingo. And I was like, oh, I don't like that together. So then I got out Fresh Freesia, tried it there. I was like, oh, I don't like Fresh Freesia either. So then I did um, Misty Moonlight. I think that's, no, that's Pacific Point. And I was just like, okay, those don't work. So I decided, and then I said, let me try it just the same color. I'm like, you know what? We just don't even need that flower. So I just, that's my, my reject one. All right. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of Coastal Cabana just in the middle of the flower, just to give it a little bit more color. Isn't that pretty how the yellow is like so um, marbled in there? Isn't it marvelous? <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop and read comments. Hold on. Let me get this one done. It's not coming out very dark, is it? I just want just a little splash of color just to make it pop. All right, so um, let me stop for a second. Um, oh yeah, don't forget to give a thumbs up to Lisa. Right. Robin says, don't worry, Lisa, you're so creative. We all go through brain farts. <laughs> yes, I have brain farts all the time. <laughs> you guys are so funny <laughs> oh my gosh there's so many comments beautiful card love the color combinations thanks to Laura you just like to whip Stella yep I do <laughs> you know if somebody's new on this channel and they hear me talking about spanking Stella they'll probably think I'm just some weirdo um let's see hey Janaya story time with Lisa yep Starla I'm so in love with the shimmer paint yes you just want to spray yourself. You know, I used to do that sometimes. When we had glitter, I would just take my fingers in the glitter and just rub it all over. Um, no, I cannot swim in the water by my house. It's a, a creek. It actually is, it's called Deep Creek. And the water from the back of my house runs into the Dismal Swamp. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Dismal Swamp. But um, that is like maybe a mile from my house. And... The intercoastal waterway is right there too. And then that goes a little bit farther and turns into the Elizabeth River. So um, the water by my house is like creek water. So it's really dark and I'm sure there's like snakes in there too. Um, and there's a bunch of turtles and all sorts of creatures in there. So I would not go swimming in it. There's a lot of people that go out on their boats in there. There's a lot of my neighbors have little boats. And um, you can go fishing. There's fish in there and there's crabs in there. But um, it's funny, there's a lot of history um, around my area. I didn't realize that when I moved over here, but um, I looked it up one day and it was really interesting. The um, did, Have you guys ever heard of the Dismal Swamp? I, I think it's pretty famous. But um, it goes on for like miles and miles and miles and miles. And um, back in the day, it was where um, the slaves would hide out and during the um, Civil War. And George Washington was actually like in my backyard, supposedly, in Deep Creek. That runs right in back of my house. George Washington was there, plus all the other people. But lots and lots of history. And um, if you drive around out here, you'll see all sorts of really cool things. So it's fascinating to me. I love all that history and uh, everything. But I read up on it. So any of you guys want to know, just look up Deep Creek in Chesapeake, Virginia. And you can um, see all about it. 
And sometimes I want to buy a um, metal detector because one time I was out there planting something and I hit like wood, like shipwreck looking wood about six inches down. I was trying to plant a bush and I thought, man, wouldn't that be cool if there was like a shipwreck stuck in my yard somewhere under the grass and uh, I could get a metal detector and find some like money. <laughs> some coins and stuff so I keep meaning to do that but I haven't got around to it yet because my house was built in 1987 and this wood that was down there was seriously like hundreds of years old so I don't know where it came from but I'm thinking it must have been like a shipwreck or something but it's fascinating to me what might have happened here hundreds of years ago oops I need this some more sorry all right so now we're, do we're not done with that sorry I thought we were done but we're not I'm gonna do this real quick though. So we're gonna take the same flower and just do the edge of this one. We're done with the brush though. I'm not done with the flower. So let's get this back out. So we're gonna go all down here. Oh, my pad's kind of getting a little bit dry. So that's my exciting story. But I thought that would be cool. Like maybe there was pirates around here. And wouldn't you just love to go back in time someday and see like what actually happened here? Because I know really in this area, um, we have a ton of history as far as like the Battle of Great Bridge. There was um, a bunch of wars. The Civil War was like all around this area. And they have a reenactment every year, like uh, just about five minutes from my house of that stuff. And you know, when I was younger, like history was my least favorite subject because I just couldn't remember dates or anything. And I was like, oh, why do we need to listen to this stuff and know about history? But as I've gotten older, it fascinates me and I think I would just love to go back in time and see what it was like back then. Just temporarily because I don't think I could live like very long with um, out air condition and um, indoor plumbing and <laughs> things like that. I was talking to my mother one day and I knew she grew up really poor. Um, I didn't know how poor until one day she was telling me. Um, that she grew up in this trailer. I mean, I knew she lived in a trailer park, but um, my parents divorced when I was very young. My dad was a pharmacist and uh, my mother, she just, I don't know, she worked at a car dealership or something. And um, I don't know how they ever ended up meeting, but anyway, they got divorced when I was like six months old and I went to live with my father, so I ended up living, you know, in a, a nice area and had a good education and a college degree and everything. And I didn't see my mother for years and years and years. And then she came back when I was uh, about nine, nine or 10. And uh, so as she's gotten older, I've gotten to know her better. And, you know, now I'm like her only person that can take care of her. So one day we were talking and she started telling me about when she was a kid and they didn't have any doors on their um, rooms. They just had curtains and they lived in this big, uh, well, not a big, a small trailer. And there was um, three of them, three girls. And then my grandparents, which I never met my grandfather, her father. I did meet her mother like once or twice, but she passed away too. And... I've only met one of her sisters, but anyway, so they lived in this little trailer and they only had curtains for door, like for their room and they had an outhouse. So she said when she was little and she's only 78, so it wasn't like that long ago. Um, she said they had to go like out in the backyard into the outhouse in like the middle of the night. And I was like, that is creepy creepy I can't even imagine having to do that because I don't even like 
when I come home from work at night, I pretty much run in the house because I'm afraid there's going to be some kind of wild animal or something out there. Because last, last night there was a fox in the road um, on my way home. So um, now we're just going to stamp the leaves. This is Granny Apple Green. So we're going to do a couple of those on each of the flowers. So you're learning a lot about my life right now. <laughs> but when she told me that, I, I was just like blown away. I said, I thought they had outhouses like back in Little House on the Prairie days. I mean, I didn't realize that was something that went on like, you know, when she was born in 43. So this was when she was, you know, a child. So it was in the 50s. And uh, I thought, wow, I can't even imagine living like that just crazy to me but because I mean I grew up in really nice house and you know never thought about something like that but I guess if that happened to her that's probably maybe pretty common back then but I don't know I mean I know there's probably people that don't have indoor plumbing nowadays but that's mostly in other countries I would think but I don't know there there are some areas that I drive around past sometimes that might look a little bit uh, like that but anyway it's been interesting so I had to go over to her house this morning or her little apartment take her groceries and uh, I told her I was coming over at nine o'clock and I get there and I'm knocking on the door she doesn't answer I start banging on the door she doesn't answer so finally I get my keys out and go in and she's just sound asleep she didn't even hear me come in and I was like, man, somebody could have broken here. You never would have even known. I think that's good. We'll just put it right there. So, she finally got up. Let me put all the groceries away. All right. I love these leaves. They're so pretty. I, I like to do two. So, then you have a dark one and a light one. And let's put a couple going this way. I was bad. I went to Sam's um, yesterday, got my rotisserie chicken, but I bought some of those brownie bites, which is not on my diet. So I'm going to have to take them to work, but I just really wanted a couple. I took some to my mother too, but that one's really kind of crooked. I'm telling you what, those brownie bites at Sam's are like melt in your mouth good. At this rate, I'm never going to lose weight, but <laughs> I keep saying, okay, next week I'm going to be really good. <laughs> do y'all do that? You just talk to yourselves and say, okay, I'll have this today, but then tomorrow I'm going to be really good. I have been doing like the fasting though. So I try not to eat after lunchtime, like one, one or two o'clock. I don't eat anything the rest of the day. So I go to work usually, you know, around two o'clock, one o'clock sometimes. And I don't eat anything the rest of the day. And then I get home at 9 or 10. And then I just go to bed. And I'm really hungry when I go to bed. But I'm trying to, like, do that fasting for, you know, so many hours a day. So then your body can burn stuff, burn some fat. But I just need to eat better during the day when I'm eating. And for some reason, I'm, it's not that I'm eating, like, a bunch. Because I just have cereal for breakfast. And, um, was like this granola cereal with strawberries, which I know is not like super good for you, but I have strawberries and I use like unsweetened almond milk and, and then I just eat lunch, which is usually like a salad or, um, a turkey sandwich or something like that. Put some over here. But then occasionally I'll have a little snack before I go to work. And that's, that's probably what's not good. Okay, one more. All right, so we're almost done with that. How much time? I forgot to see what time it was when we started. Did anybody see what time it was when we started? Because I wasn't even paying attention. All right, one more thing to put on this, and then we're going to cut this up. Let me read some comments real quick. Um... Beautiful card and love the color combination. I think I already read that one. Oh, yeah, I did. Let me scroll back down. 
I love your videos. Hey, thanks. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Somebody said, hi, Ruth. Is Ruth on here? <gasps> Ruth is on here. Hey, Ruth. I always talk about you on my videos. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited. That's so funny. Now, see, this looks like a, a Stampin', a Artful Stampin' with Ruth card. <laughs> it's like a one-sheet wonder kind of thing. That's so funny. I'm so excited. All right, Cindy says, I made a box to put in 10 cards and made for my sister's birthday. Aw. Everybody's saying, Ruth, I love your videos. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa. You're so creative. We all go through. Oh, I already read that one, too. All right. What type? Let's see. Hello from Ontario. Hey. I know. I think I'm just eating too many carbs. I think that's the problem. It's all, my, my diet is almost all carbs. All right, so we're going to do this one. This comes in the peony set too. And I'm doing this in the gray granite. So we're just going to fill in some space on here with this one. And then we're almost done. We're going to cut them in half and put them together. And then we'll have 10 cards. I don't know what time we started though. Did anybody look at the time when we started to see what time it was? Because I think it was probably about 10 after. So, oh, we're already past 20 minutes then. We're gonna have to change it to 30 minutes. But that means I only have like four minutes left. So maybe it's gonna be 30-ish, 30 30-ish 30 minutes. All right, all right, all done. All right, so now we gotta cut these in half. So let's get the paper cutter out. And you know I do my paper cutter upside down, so we'll have to turn it around. All right, so we're gonna cut all of these at three inches in half. And then we'll have two of each one. I love these colors together why that doesn't I don't think it looks like um, granny apple when it's on the yellow it almost looks like old olive I think but it's really pretty and you could do this with um, the pink one would really be pretty too I think for a background for a card like this all right so now all we have to do is put it together put some bling on it and spray it and then we're gonna be good all right, so I've got all my cards here, and we're just going to start gluing. I ran out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> How is that possible? I really need to start writing stuff down so I can think of more things to talk about on here. Ugh. All right, I'm trying to hurry. I know. I was. Uh, I got a lot of comments about my um, love life when I was talking about that on the last video. You know how I need a date for my daughter's wedding, and somebody said they ha they know a cute guy in Phoenix. <laughs> if, I, if, if I want him to be my date, <laughs> I can rent him. <laughs> they need to have a rent a date thing, you know. I think that would be a good business. Maybe I should start that on the side. Rent a date. You can pick out which one you want. <laughs> All right. Annie says, if you aren't getting enough during the day, your body goes into storing everything. Yeah, I know. But it's like, I feel like I'm eating too many carbs and it's because I don't really eat that much protein except for like the turkey. And, you know, if I have a salad, I put um, rotisserie chicken on it. So I just don't like meat and stuff that much. I would, I'm just a carboholic, that's the problem. But it's funny, when I, when I do that fasting, then like in the middle of the night, I don't know if it starts burning fat or something, but all of a sudden um, I just start sweating like really bad. I, like my body is burning fat and I just get really hot and have to kick the covers off and stuff. But if I eat before I go to bed, then that doesn't happen. So I think maybe it's doing something. I don't know. My friend at work, she did uh, keto for a long time. 
She lost like 80 pounds and then she quit doing it for Christmas. And darn if she didn't gain like 30 pounds back just in not not even two months. She's gained like 30, 30 or 35 pounds back. So now she's gonna start it again. I'm like, but you starve yourself eating that keto. Well, she just eats stuff that I couldn't eat because I don't eat any kind of meat. And she eats a lot of meat and then eats these like fat bomb things. They're just, I don't know, some kind of fat that you mix with other stuff. It sounds disgusting. And I've always just like for my whole life always been trying to do low fat, you know, diets like with Weight Watchers and things like that. And now it's like you want to have fat in your diet. Oh, you know what? I should have done this first. Oh, well. Sometimes these are like not exactly the same as the other piece. But I try to put those together first in case I got to trim a little bit. But hopefully I cut straight this time so they'll be good. I don't I haven't used that back piece for anything yet. The back side of this, I don't think. I always seem to use the front cuz I like the front better. I just like the more subtle color. This side's just a little bit too bright, I think, for me. Because I'm not really like a bright person. And it's funny because yellow is not really one of my favorite colors either, but um, I was trying out some different colors and I thought, well, the yellow goes really well with the blue and the green. So that's why I picked yellow. I do like so saffron though. That's kind of a subtle yellow. So um, I'm going to my I'm going to Lake Gaston this weekend. This is uh, where I'm doing the stamping thing, and my friend who lives there, she lives like on the lake, and uh, that's where we're having the stamping thing, and we're going to a wine tasting Friday when I get there. They're having like wine and chocolate, so I'm so excited because I never hardly do anything anymore, except work. <laughs> work can come home and stamp. So I'm really excited about going to that. And then the um, the stamp camp thing we're doing is all, it's like 10 to four on Saturday. And we have a lot of people coming that have never stamped before. So that should be interesting. But my friend, she's in my downline, so I'm trying to help her like get a whole bunch of new customers. So hopefully, Oh, uh, now see, that, that one's just a sliver too long, but note to self, don't glue it down until you do the top piece first. So that way you can trim it if you need to, because it's too hard to trim it once you put it down. Isn't this pretty? I love, love, love these colors together. And then the piece on the front, this one, I put down like by itself first and then I thought I had all these little scraps so I kind of stuck it under there and I'm like oh I like that better so I changed it to that and that just reminds me of something I forgot to sponge the edge of that not really sponge it but I dipped it in the um, ink pad and I didn't do ribbon on this card for a change because almost always I put ribbon on cards but I tried to do a ribbon and it just didn't go and I said well just skip the ribbon on this one. Okay, so now I need to go back and do the edge of those words real quick. So I've got all these like everywhere. But we're almost done. I know you guys don't care if I take longer. <laughs> You're probably like, oh, we'll sit here till like 10, 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do is just dip this in the pad like this. So, I'm just getting the edges on there a little bit. So I'm not really sponging, just kind of touching it. And it just gives it a little bit of color. Oops. I think my pad's getting a little bit dry though. Because it's not picking up too much. Uh-oh, I think I missed one. One, two. Yeah, I missed one, I think. I have to grab it again. 
Maybe if I only did eight cards, I could get that in 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, I always shoot for 20. It's never going to happen. <laughs> I have to stop and read comments and stuff. Okay, there we go. All right, so just keep going with this. Wonder if I'll get any comments today about my chit chat. I haven't gotten any in a few few videos. Although the last couple of videos have had that static on them, so that kind of probably drives people crazy and they're like, oh, I can't listen to that. <laughs> I know I can't. <laughs> I start watching, I'm like, oh, that drives me crazy. But you guys are so good and you watch it, even if it has static on it, which I'm thankful for. Because after, I didn't even know on the last video really till after I went and watched it. And I was like, oh no. And at that point, there's really nothing I can do. But I think I figured it, it out that it is the um, Bluetooth and the Do Not Disturb. If I have those off, then it's usually okay. All right, last one. Okay. Oh, love it. All right, so now we just got to glue these two things together. And I'm just going to use a little bit of tape instead of glue. Um, Uh-oh, where's my tape go? There it goes. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of tape here and stick that. Oops, wrong end. Stick that right under there. So you just want about maybe an eighth of an inch to show. Whoops. Oh, that's not working, is it? Let me hold it down. Okay. That one's a little bit too long, too. Okay. I'm much better with glue. It was funny, I was watching a, um, a video this morning and somebody was using the green glue. Like, I think uh, most demonstrators use this green glue because it's just easy, you know? And uh, she said, like, I got like goo all over this too. <laughs> she said, do you know there's a fat tip on here? I'm like, yeah, I just don't ever use that fat tip. Did you guys know there's a fat tip on here? I don't ever use it because I like the thin tip, but, um, she said most people don't even know there is a fat tip on there, but it says right there, broad tip. I knew there was there, but I just don't use it because I don't like it that much. I like the real, I like to have a more precise tip on mine. All right, you guys liking this so far? Let me see. I'm cutting up all my paper pads. Oh, what do you mean you're cutting up paper pads? What kind of paper pads? Heather's. You, you love my giggle. I haven't laughed too much tonight. I'm not cracking myself up like usual. <laughs> uh, I'm too stressed. Work is stressing me out. I gotta work tomorrow too. You know what's really sad is I was sitting at work last night thinking I had the whole weekend off to just do whatever. And I look at the schedule and all of a sudden I see myself on tomorrow and I said, I'm working tomorrow? I had no idea until yesterday that I was working tomorrow. And I thought, well, it's a darn good thing I looked at that schedule because I would have been like sleeping. I have to work in the morning too, which I hate. Why would I schedule myself in the morning? I don't know. Because I am not a morning person at all. That's why I work mostly nights because I do not like to get up early. I like to stay up late and, and stay in bed in the morning. And then I usually stay in bed till about, if I don't have to work, I stay in bed till about nine. I could, I wake up about seven and then I lay in bed till about nine and like read my email and read comments on the videos and, you know, just do all that stuff while I'm laying in bed. And then I get up and eat breakfast. And, but I just like to lounge around. I don't like to just hurry and get up at 545, rush around, go to work. Then I'm in, like tired all morning. It's so quiet in the house. Usually I have music on in my house all the time, but now, because I'm doing this video, I, I turn the TV off, 
I turned off everything that would be pulling the Wi-Fi because my house is all wireless. So it's like totally silent in here. It's almost kind of creepy. I haven't had any weird things happen lately though, so that's a good thing. No more creepy footsteps. It's supposed to maybe snow tomorrow though. It's 70 today and it's supposed to be maybe 30s tomorrow in the afternoon. <sighs> Just crazy weather. All right, so we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. So let me grab these. Dang, we're almost going on an hour. This is really a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> I've been talking too much. Take it too much time. I thought this was a super easy card too. I'm like, oh, I can easily do this in 20 minutes. I guess my cards are just not as easy as I think they are. I was thinking about doing this card this weekend at the, or yeah, this coming weekend at the, um, or next weekend at the thing. Cause I think that would, I think this would be a good card for beginners. Don't you think? Cause they only have to just stamp a few things and we'll have like, we're gonna have like eight people at each table. And there's going to be like four tables. So I think we could do it. And I'm doing um, a demonstration of like how to do the white wash technique. You know, when we do that with the Amelia. Uh, and I think they'll like that. So it should be. So I'm going to this card maybe not do the little on the bottom I don't know that takes longer and then I gotta think of another easy card to do that only has a couple stamps of colors so they don't get mixed up it'd be easier to use strips on this if you have strips so use like three individual ones and keep cutting them. I mine though, because I like to use a little piece of it. Alright. So now we're just going to pluck all these quick. And do some rhinestone. Here, I'll put the card down so you can see them. Alright, so this line up right here at the edge. So it goes right there. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Even without the stuff on it, it's just so pretty. Oops, I forgot one. Sorry, I'm not reading this. Let's see. Um, Janae says, I think it's fun and easy for them. I have not used the wheel set yet. I have not. I have it. I haven't used it yet because that's a lot of cutting and I just have gotten around to die cutting much lately. I've been trying to do mostly easy stuff that doesn't need die cutting, but I need to get that or doing that windmill set. I'm trying to use the stamps. Uh-oh. Somebody just said I won't be. Does the screen look blurry? The screen's not blurry. I hope that's fine. Oh, no. Somebody got blurry. Not good. I thought I was going to make a video without anything going wrong. Now that, that's the internet though. If it's blurry, then that's probably the internet, which I can't control because my internet here stinks. I have cocks and they are worthless. I don't know if you guys have cocks. I know they're all over the country, but they are the, just, I used to have really good internet, which was still cocks at my old house, but now I kind of live in the country, so it's just not as good. I don't know what the deal is, but okay. Now I'm clear again. That's good. Okay. Tap your settings and make the quality higher. I think it's on, um, I put it on 720 as the settings for, I did have it on 1080 and then I thought maybe that was just trying to pull too much internet. So I turned it down to 720 thinking maybe that would help for the settings. I thought maybe if it's lower whatever that is um, it wouldn't try to use as much internet but nothing else is on so the only thing that's on is my computer and my phone everything else is turned off so hopefully 
Maybe that was just the glitch and it'll come through clear on the replay. Because that's what always happened on Facebook. It would be like blurry on Facebook for a few minutes and then when I uploaded it to YouTube, it would be clear on there. So I don't know. I need to find a man who knows how to do all this stuff and uh, set up some kind of cool thing for me to do everything on that's doesn't use Wi-Fi because a lot of YouTube people say don't use Wi-Fi but I don't know how you would do a YouTube video without Wi-Fi because well I mean everything in my house is wireless so I don't know if I could do it without Wi-Fi all right we're gonna put some gems on here and I got my take your pick tool so I'm just gonna use the little rhinestones and put one on the words and then one on the center of the flowers. So anywhere I have a flower center, I was gonna get one. I think I'm just gonna do three flowers there because I think if I did the fourth one, it would look weird. Okay. This is a lot of stamping. I really didn't think it was gonna take this long. We'll just put one like, I wanna put one more here. Oops, I keep skipping that bottom one. I think that sponging really makes a difference though around the edge. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like I can see it, but it's just a pretty, oops, I missed it. Now I got two. I got a tag along. Let's put another one over here. Oops, <laughs> let me go ahead and do this one. Uh, so I gotta get up at 5.45 tomorrow, go to work. Ugh. I do not like it. And I still gotta take a shower too. I've been lounging around all day. At least I got my laundry done. Oops, I missed one on the words. Got all my laundry done today. Which is a good thing. Cause I, <laughs> I got behind on that too. My bin was like, my uh, hamper was overflowing. I was like, I gotta do some clothes if I gotta work tomorrow because I don't have any uniforms left. Because we wear our scrubs to work. And I only have like four pairs that fit right now. <laughs> so, it's like one week's worth. So I was getting down to the nitty gritty. I do have like four more pairs, but they're just really tight. Oh, this one only has two flowers. I'll just have to put an extra one there all right last one and then we're just gonna spray and be done oh we got 120 people watching that's awesome yay put a little bit over all right so all the gems are done now we're gonna spray so if you don't have the spray just use some wink of stella you could just um tap your wink of stella on there if you want to or you could color with it but i'm just gonna spray this shake it up and spray it a couple times. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so pretty. Oh, I think my um, video is way far behind. Let me catch up. Hold on. Yeah, I'm like way behind on here. How did my video get so far behind? Oh, it did get blurry for a while. Yikes. Okay. All right, all right, so can you guys see that on here? Now the video just went away. It's totally clear, somebody just said. That's good. It was blurry a minute ago though. Love it, love it, love it. You guys have to get the spray. Stampin' Up! needs to bring the spray back. And they also need to bring back Dazzling Diamonds. Because I have this really fun technique using... Oops, that one's already got it. That's the sample. Okay. So, guess what, folks? We are done with all these beautiful cards. What do you think? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Can you see it? All of that dazzle. Let me see if I can get my computer close to where we are right now. Hold on. 
Okay, I'm like a few seconds behind. Let me read some of the comments. <laughs> Everybody's saying, love your cards, Ruth. <laughs> Everybody knows Ruth is on here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, thank you guys so much. Let's see. Debbie says, I have 111 people. Now I'm up to 123. I'm so excited. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Gwen. All right, we have a lot of people on here. I know I missed a lot of comments. Hey, Mary. You just tuned in. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so glad you joined us. Well, thank you guys so much. I know that was extra long. I didn't plan on going for a whole hour, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. 47 thumbs up. Thanks, you guys. Love the thumbs up. Make sure you um, leave a comment and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff for me. I'm getting close to 8,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited. I think I'm I'm almost at 7,800 right t today. So I need um, a couple more hundred to hit 8,000. So love the cards tonight. Can't wait to make this card in different colors. I know. I, I'm going to try it in different colors too and see what I can come up with. I think if you did it um, like on the pink one, use like purples, some of the purple colors, and maybe um, a different green. I have the end of all these little pieces of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. Here's the one. <laughs> I'm like, why do I only have nine cards? Because I'm holding one, dummy. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. I crack myself up. All right. Thanks for joining me, you guys, tonight. And um, it's eight o'clock, so I am going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry that the um, picture messed up for a minute or two, but... Um, at least the sound was good tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be back Tuesday. Uh, I think. I can't remember when I'm working Tuesday. So I don't know what time it'll be. But sometime on Tuesday. So I'll see you later. Thanks you guys. Have a good night. Bye bye.